Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that many people are concerned about, hair loss. Losing hair can be frustrating, and it's a problem that affects both men and women. In this video, we're going to discuss two common causes of hair loss and how you can regrow your hair. So, if you're ready, let's get started. 1. Hair Transplant Hair transplant surgery is a permanent solution for hair loss, and it has come a long way since it was first introduced several decades ago. The procedure involves removing hair follicles from a donor area of the scalp and transplanting them to the balding or thinning area. The transplanted hair follicles continue to grow in their new location, providing a natural-looking head of hair. Follicular unit transplantation FUT, involves removing a strip of scalp from the donor area and dissecting it into individual hair follicles. The donor site is then sutured closed, leaving a linear scar that can usually be covered by surrounding hair. Foy involves removing individual hair follicles directly from the donor area using a small punch tool. The advantage of Foy is that there is no linear scar, but it can be more time-consuming and costly than foot. Hair transplant surgery can be a good option for people with advanced hair loss who are looking for a permanent solution. However, it's important to note that the procedure is expensive and can be painful. Recovery time can also be lengthy, and it can take several months to see the full results. 2. Topical Treatments Minoxidil is the most widely used topical treatment for hair loss. It was originally developed as a blood pressure medication, but researchers discovered that it also had hair growth properties. Minoxidil is available over the counter in 2% and 5% formulations, and it comes in the form of a liquid or foam. Minoxidil works by widening blood vessels and increasing blood flow to the hair follicles. It also prolongs the growth phase of the hair cycle, which can lead to thicker, longer hair. Minoxidil is most effective for people with early or moderate hair loss, and it can take several months to see results. Other topical treatments that have shown promise for hair growth include essential oils, such as rosemary and peppermint oil. These oils work by increasing blood flow to the scalp and promoting hair growth. Caffeine has also been shown to stimulate hair growth when applied topically. Topical treatments are generally considered safe and easy to use. However, they do require consistent use and may take several months to produce visible results. 3. Lifestyle Changes Stress is a common cause of hair loss, and reducing stress can help promote hair growth. Exercise is an effective way to reduce stress and improve overall health. Exercise helps improve blood flow and circulation, which can deliver more nutrients and oxygen to the hair follicles. It also helps reduce stress, which can contribute to hair loss. Getting enough sleep is also important for hair health. Lack of sleep can lead to hormonal imbalances that can contribute to hair loss. Aim for 7 to 8 hours of sleep per night to support healthy hair growth. Diet is another important factor in hair health. Eating a balanced diet that is rich in vitamins and minerals can help support healthy hair growth. Biotin, iron, zinc, and vitamin D are all important nutrients for hair health. 4. Natural Remedies and Alternative Therapies Natural remedies and alternative therapies have become increasingly popular in recent years. Scalp massage is one natural remedy that can help improve blood flow to the scalp and stimulate hair growth. Massaging the scalp for a few minutes each day can help promote hair growth and reduce stress. Acupuncture is an alternative therapy that has been shown to promote hair growth by stimulating circulation and reducing inflammation. Some studies have also shown that saw palmetto and pigeon, 
Two herbal supplements can help reduce day HT levels and promote hair growth. While natural remedies and alternative therapies may be appealing, because they are often less expensive than other options, it's important to note that they may not be effective for everyone. Additionally, some natural remedies may interact with medications or have potential side effects. It's important to consult with a healthcare professional before trying any new treatments for hair loss, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or are taking medications. There are many options available for regrowing hair and treating hair loss. Hair transplant surgery can provide a permanent solution for advanced hair loss, but it's expensive and can be painful. Topical treatments, lifestyle changes, and natural remedies are other options that may be effective for some people. If you're experiencing hair loss, it's important to talk to a healthcare professional to determine the underlying cause, develop a treatment plan that is right for you. Hair loss can be a distressing experience, but with the right treatment and support, it's possible to regrow hair and restore confidence. Thank you for watching this video on regrowing hair and the two common causes of hair loss. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and information.